Alright, I'm trying out some new recording software, so bear with me if this doesn't quite work out. So in Z, I want to show a method of you know, possibly making a rectangular helical coil. Uh, so to do that, I want to load up, oops, sorry, load up a uh, ring and just get that drawn out, edit it, click the screen. Uh, and I want to come down to initialize, uh, and I, I just need a right angle, so I'm going to set this to 90 degrees. Uh, let's turn polyframe on. Uh, well, for some reason, not wanting to. There we go. And to start, uh, yeah, 90 degrees, and then. I'm going to set my S divide to 8. I just need an octagonal cross section and my L divide to 9. Uh, give me roughly square polys here and one division here in the middle. So it, once I got this, let's turn the floor on and get a sense of the size of it. Yeah, I'll probably want to make the uh, radius to cross section a little more proportional there, and that looks pretty good. So once I've got that, I can make it a polymesh 3D, and I just need to scale it down a little bit. Um, yeah, scale tool's already here in the middle, uh, so I should just be able to scale it right on down. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Need a little bit more. All right. So next, I want to make different poly groups on the end caps of these, to make it a little easier to work with. So I'm going to mask that. Control W change that polygroup. Uh, let's clear that. Mask this. Control W. Yeah, so two different polygroups there. Uh, and now I can use the move tool. If I click on one of these ends, you see it goes off normal to it. Uh, and if I hold down control when I click on it, it masks everything except that polygroup so I can extrude it out. So I'm still in my move tool. Moving to the center circle. I'm going to hold down the control key, click and drag, and you see that starts to extrude out. So I'm going to hold shift, uh, extrude that out, so I'm going to pull it out a little bit. And that's looking good. So let's clear the mask. On this side, I'm going to hold down control, click on it, that masks it out. Now I can grab the middle, still holding down control, shift. Pull that out. If I need to move it a little bit, now I can just not hold control and just move it out, but hold shift so it stays in line. Move it out a little longer. Make kind of an L shape here. I don't want to move it out too far because I'm going to mirror all these. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Alright, so let's clear the mask. Now I need to uh, bend these or rotate them uh, so that you know, they're going at the angle that I want. So to do that, let's see, I'm going to mask on uh, here. I think I'm going to switch to a, a lasso. A lasso kind of up to the midsection there. Uh, and then hold down control and click it to soften that up a little bit. And now, let's see, yeah, I can come to this end. My rotate tool. Click on that to, so it sets it out normal to it. Then click it out this way. And so now I've got you know, this thing lined up with the center of this, center of rotation on this. And this end is fairly soft select or masking, so you know, it's going to tilt that. Now, if it starts to tilt this you know, some as well, it looks like it's doing it, I'll probably just want to come around and just make double sure that that's all actually masked. And then now, yeah, now I should be able to rotate it. And I don't need to rotate it much, you know, just get that angle on it. You could hold down the shift and lock it to 15 degrees uh, or 20, however much that is, but that's a bit much. I uh, don't really need that, so you know, somewhere around here looks like it'd probably be pretty good. And let's do that again uh, to this other side, so clear my mask. Uh, let's see, let's rotate. Make sure that that's all masked. Soften it and just make sure that that's masked. And then let's, see, let's get end on to it. Um, drag out 
a rotate tool here, make sure it's roughly in line, roughly centered on those, and I can just rotate that down just a bit. And that all looks pretty good. There's a little bit of, you, know, you can see a little bit of kind of buckle twisting on there, so you could uh, you know, possibly use the move topological tool to get that, but I think this is pretty good. So uh, let me stop the video here and I'll pick it up in the next. I'm sorry these are kind of short. I want to make double sure that the uh, recording software is taking care of it.